Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Yes, today we'll be doing the Dominus Rex vs. Indoraptor collection battle video, okay? So follow me over to Level 2 Jurassic Midlands to pick up all the different Indominus Rex and Indoraptor. So let's go. Right guys, we're now at Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands. Let's pick up all the different Indoraptors. The Indoraptors are easy because they're all placed right here. So let's get all of them into the box. Okay, the last one in. So all the Indoraptors are in the box. Super simple. Alright, Indominus Rex will be a little bit more difficult because they're all right here and some of them are actually quite hidden. So let's get all of them out. Okay, let's figure into the box. Very nice. Now let's pick up other Indominus Rex figures from the mini shelves as well. Alright guys, we are now at the mini shelves. Shelf number one and shelf number two. Let's begin with number two first. I don't think we have many Indominus Rex or not a single Indoraptor, I think, in this shelf. Oh, probably. We do have one golden Indominus Rex, one Indoraptor right here, some metallic Indoraptor, you know, Captive Collection Indominus Rex, and I think that's about it. We'll probably have one. Yep, this is basically the finger puppet. Basic figure. I don't think... Oh, we do have one. Wall pop-up. Okay, so let's get all of them in. Okay, on to the first shelf right here, okay? So I think we do have a couple of Indominus Rex. Plenty of them right here, but I think Indoraptor, perhaps, yes, one or two. A couple of more Indominus Rex right here. So, yep, let's pick them up. Okay, very nice. We actually have two more right here, Zoom Riders. And plenty of other figures that we have picked up from shelf number one. So I'm actually quite surprised. So we are ready. Let's bring all of the figures back to Basement Dino Dungeon. Alright guys, we are not done yet, okay? Because we still have plenty of figures from Monster Island Room, okay? One Indoraptor right here. Two mini Indominus Rex. We should have more. The big Indoraptor right here. One big Indominus Rex from Imagine Next. You know, two smaller ones right over here as well. Of course, we have the Lego figures. So plenty of them, actually. Yep. And the last but not least, we also have the Takara Tomi figures right here. So plenty of figures to pick up actually. Okay, so let's pick up all of them. Let's do this. Alright guys, check this out. We are back in the basement, Dino Dungeon, okay? So all the figures are right here on the floor as well as on the table. Let's place every single figure on the table to see which team actually has more figures. And I want you guys to let me know down below which team are you guys on, Indoraptor or Indominus Rex, okay? So let's begin. Alright guys, are you ready to begin our collection battle? So let's begin, okay? First, let's take a look at this mini diorama. We haven't seen this for quite some time. If you open this one up, it looks really cool. You can basically see the Indominus Rex about to escape from its containment. So you can press this car right here. Right, Let me just close the door first. You press this, you just spring right out. Yeah, it's kind of loose, but very, very cool little figure. You guys should remember the scene where the Indominus Rex actually flipped a car over. Yeah, very nice. So now let's take a look at our first Indoraptor figure, okay? Of course, we have the biggest one right at the back. The second biggest is actually this, which is the Indoraptor from Imagine Next. Okay, it actually has roaring sounds, but the roar is actually the roar of the Indominus Rex instead of the Indoraptor. But still a very, very cool figure. Okay, we have to remove Chonky and place Indoraptor right over here. In case that you guys do not know, this is our very own Dan Surprise 10-year anniversary plush figure, okay? It is available 
at densurprise.com. Okay, link down below, limited edition. So hopefully you, you can get yours before it runs out. Okay, so next up, let's have a look at the second biggest in Dominance Rex figure. I'm gonna go with this one, which is probably, I would say probably my most favorite in Dominance Rex figure. I think this is like the best, if not the best. Of course, we have to turn off the lights. Camouflage and battle in Dominus Rex. I mean, just check out the glow in its body, which is just incredible. So let's place this right at the back over here. Beautiful one. Okay, next up, let's have a look at another Indoraptor figure. Which one shall we go with? Shall we just go with this one, which is the um, Imagine Next figure as well? So it comes with movable jaw, the arms can be moved. It's pretty cool. All right, let's place it right over here. Okay, next up, let's have a look at another Indominus Rex. Let's go with the Imagine Next figure as well. I can't remember what is the name of this figure, but you can see, you can push the tail and the entire body will just turn. Kind of cool. And I love how they have painted the spikes in blue, which is kind of refreshing. All right, let's move back to the Indoor Raptor. So I'm gonna pick up one of the latest one, if not the latest, which is the Track and Attack Indoor Raptor. This is a really beautiful one. I love the shine on its body, the silverish shine. So let's try and press this. Of course, you are able to turn off the lights so that you can see the glowing eyes more clearly. You are able to move the arms as well, like this. Very, very nice figure. Okay, so let's see where we should actually place this. Maybe over here. Because I want to make sure that all the figures are lined up according to the height. We're going to be removing the egg later on. So don't worry about that. Next, let's take a look at one of this very iconic figure. This is actually the Lever 40 Indominus Rex. Beautiful, awesome figure. Um, it's not able to stand, which is quite a pity. And the the arms are actually kind of like, you know, it's kind of like faulty. They're supposed to like pump it a few times, but I don't think it's working very well. Yeah, I don't think it's working very well. So let's not let's not push it too hard. Otherwise, I think it might get damaged. So I'm gonna put it right at the back, right over here, right at the back. Very very beautiful. Looking very, very nice. Okay, next up, let's pick up another indoor raptor. Just give me a second, guys. I'll pick up the grab and growl. My grab and growl, unfortunately, doesn't seem to be working. The sounds doesn't seem to be working anymore. I've tried replacing the batteries. It doesn't seem to work. Yeah, so it's kind of pity. Yep, this is actually a very rare figure. So I don't think I'll be able to find another one. Yep, I don't think so. I will try to find another one, but it's so difficult because it's very rare. So that's the grab and growl um, Indoraptor. Let's pick up another one. We have the... Um, if I'm not wrong, this is named Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex. Let's turn off the lights. It's supposed to glow, I think, right here, if I'm not wrong. Yep, there I go. Just a slight glow right over here. Pretty cool. I'm gonna place it right over here. And let's move on to the next Indoor Raptor figure. I'm gonna pick up one from the floor. Just give me a second. This was the very first Indoor Raptor. They call it the Super Poseable Indoor Raptor. That is like a, a proper name for it. I like this figure. There's no sounds. The scale looks fantastic and you're able to pose it into many, many different poses. Awesome stuff. Okay, next up, let's pick up another Indominus Rex. This is another huge one. Extreme damage Indominus Rex. The same, it's basically using the same sculpt as the Grab and Ground. I don't think this one has any lights, which is kind of a pity. Yep. I'm gonna put it right over here. Right over here. 
looking really good. Okay, next up, let's pick up another Indoor Raptor. Seems like this, it's the Battle Damage. Probably my favorite one. Okay, very cool. Comes with the Battle Damage mechanism. You're supposed to place this. You can actually display this by putting it on top of a Triceratops skeleton, which is the way that the Indoor Raptor was defeated in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Okay, next up. Next up, we're gonna have um, the very first Indominus Rex figure. This is a classic figure from Hasbro. Sounds are still working, lights are still working. Check this out, the body will actually glow right here, which is very nice. But I don't think I'll be able to display this. Let's see, let's see. Okay, seems like we are able to. Let's, let me just try and. Oh my goodness. I know this figure is not able to stand very well, but I didn't know it's so unstable to this point. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Next, Indoor Raptor. Okay, this figure is gonna fall off very soon. Yeah, we definitely need to figure out a better way to display them. Next, we have the 12 inch basic figure. Okay, so let's place this right at the back. Okay, right over here. Beautiful one. Okay, next up, let's see what else we, we can get. Um, another Indominus Rex, let's go. How about this one? Sound search. I like this figure. Simple and nice. Doesn't have um lights, but it has sounds. And the sculpt looks great. And the size is actually very good. I like this size. It's not too huge. So you can definitely display it very, very easily. So let me just try to squeeze this right in. Yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, next Indoraptor. Um, this is perhaps the next one. You can actually transform this into a Brachiosaurus, but we're not, we're not gonna do that because we need it as an Indoraptor. So we are running out of space, as you can see. Okay, next, this one. Kind of rare, kind of um, unknown and kind of, um, you know, it's not really shown in many of my videos or others' videos, so... Very cool. It's basically like a Mashems, okay? Next Indoraptor, they're going to go with the Lego figure. Lego figures are always great. We need to figure a space to place it right at the back. For the Indominus Rex, we have two of them. The very first one, this is supposed to be white, but you can see it has turned slightly yellowish. I think mine is still in really good condition compared to many other collectors. Yeah, I've actually kept mine in tip top condition. The second version is actually a silver, silverish gray version, which I think it's, um, it's better because white basically gets dirty very, very easily. So let's place them right at the back. Okay? Next Indoraptor, I think we are moving towards um, the smaller figures really soon. And this is a cup topper. Okay, cup topper. Consider a small figure. Let me get this out of the way, okay? Cup topper. Maybe the cup topper can be placed as the start of the, um, the minifigures. Next, we'll move into the Fierce Changes. Pretty sure many of you guys have seen them before. I know they're not popular among collectors, but they're definitely popular with some kids, definitely, like myself. Yes, I consider myself still a kid, still a kid at heart, a child at heart. Okay, let me place this one right here. Okay, um, for the Indoraptor, we still have one really cool one. 
which is the Funko Pop. Funko Pop figure. I don't think we have a Funko Pop in Dominus Rex yet. If we have, I'll definitely want to get it. I'm trying to hide this, it doesn't look nice. That's the uh, wet wipes, <laughs> which I use to clean my figure sometimes. Okay, now we move on to the Indominus Rex. We have the one from Hasbro. You can move this quite easily. Not a fan of this figure to be honest. It's kind of um you can't even close this. It's so difficult to close it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one right over here. Okay. For the bigger figures, we are done with the Indoraptor, but we are not done yet with the Indominus Rex. We still have this baby. I'm not too sure what this is called. The baby chomping Indominus Rex. Yeah, it's still working. We're supposed to put the food inside. I didn't bring the food. The food is still in the um, at level 2 Jurassic World Midland. Yeah. I think the eyes are supposed to light up. I can't remember. I think so. Ah, uh, there you go. Super cute and adorable. Um, clearly running off space. Let's just put it right at the back. We have two more figures. Of the Jonas Rex, these two are basically the mini chomp, mini chompers. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of these figures. I think they look really bad, but still, you know, it's great for my collection, definitely. Um, let's see, let's see whether we are able to squeeze one in right here. I think it's gonna look really nice. Putting one of it right over here. Yeah, you have one more Indominus head jutting out. I think it looks it looks cool. Okay. And this one. Okay, the armor has um fallen down. I'm gonna put it right here. You need like a really cool cool thumbnail later on. That's for sure. But this Indominus Rex is not looking very good. It keeps falling over. Okay, so it's now time for us to sort of like open up the eggs. So let me just get this gigantic egg out of the way so you can see. It's looking pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice view. Yeah. Of course, we need to get that egg out of the way as well. Okay, check this out, guys. Huge collection of um, minifigures, so we're gonna go slowly. This is a six inch figure. Place it right here. This is the Indominus Rex. Okay, just give me a second. And this is the um, six inch basic figure of the Indominus Rex. Very nice. Um, let's see what else we've got. This is a Mattel minifigure with no articulation. There are plenty of them. We have plenty of them to be honest. This is a really nice one. I love this translucent, you know, minifigures of the Indominus Rex. Look really good. This one, it's from Takara Tomi. Yeah, really good. I think it's a Gashapon, if I'm not wrong. In case that you guys do not know what is a Gashapon, they are basically little eggs from Japanese vending machine. Snap Squad, Indominus Rex. This is a very nice Takara Tomi Arts Gashapon figure that features the Indoraptor standing on top of the Lockwood Manor building, you know, the um, tragic scene where the Indoraptor fall through, fell through the glass roof, you know, and onto the horns of the Triceratops. Very, very tragic scene. Yep. And this is the metallic version of the Snap Squad in Dominus Rex. I think it looked really good. 
here with another one. This one comes with a movable jaw. So it's different. It's different from the very first one. This one we got it from China, if I'm not wrong. Okay, but don't be surprised. It's actually an official product. It's an official product. Um, it's a cup topper. Very beautiful. Imagine next Indoraptor. I think they are known as hatchlings, if I'm not wrong. They have beautiful transparent eyes. McDonald's Happy Meal in Dominus Rex that comes with a wheel below. So if you move the wheel, the jaw will actually open and close. Kind of cool. Bronze Metallic Indoraptor from the Captive Collection. This one I'm going to put it right at the front. Right at the front because the colors are actually different from the rest. So I want them to be color coordinated. They will look better. And this is the very cute little Indominus Rex sleeping figure from Bandai, I think. Can't you remember? Oh, it's from Takara Tomi. How could I say Bandai? Another Takara Tomi arts figure. It's supposed to be like a pencil holder. Yeah, it's kind of cute. This is from Hasbro, if I'm not wrong. From Hasbro. From the very first Jurassic World movie. Takara Tomi figure. I would say this it's not the best representation of an Indoraptor because it doesn't have the quills. So they could have and they should have added the quills, I think. We have the Zoom Rider, which is big. So we, we do have the Indominus Rex version as well. We have to push the egg back, that's for sure. Zoom Rider right at the back. Indominus Rex Zoom Rider. Put it right at the back. Let's see what else we've got. Minifigure. We have a, a ton of these minifigures. Yeah, I'm trying to find more space. As you can see, we are running out of space. Snap Squad. Oh, I'm sorry. Wall Pop Up. Indoraptor. Imagine next the Dominus Rex. Finger puppet. Very, very cute little one. Let's see whether we can. Um, we are so short of space. You definitely need a bigger table. This was the, um, one of the very first Indominus Rex figure. This is from Hasbro. Let's squeeze it right in over here. Squeeze it right in over here. This one is a beautiful one. Okay, metallic Indominus Rex, captive Indoraptor. The metallic Indoraptor, we have three of them. Okay, we are almost done, guys. Let's get this. The medium size egg. Oh my goodness. I just caused a small little disaster right here. Captive collection in Dominus Rex. Just gonna squeeze it right in. Just give me a second, I'm trying to pick up the metallic Indoraptor that has fallen. Another metallic Indominus Rex, which is on the floor right now. I just drop it. Okay. Oh dear. I am creating a mess. Okay, this one is the Magnetic Indominus Rex. 
Dominus Rex. I'm gonna pick them up again. Okay, this is the um, Metallic Indominus Rex. Let's place it right at the back. Snap Squad. Haven't seen this guy for quite some time. Translucent Indominus Rex, the movable jaw. Minifigure Mattel Golden Indominus Rex Perhaps the best one Okay, it's not standing well You can see I'm creating like a, a domino effect All the figures are just falling over It's another one We have some space right here I'm gonna show you guys like a, you know, another view later on. Micro collection, beautiful one. Okay, this one of cool. They're from China. Official product. Here's another one, and this is the um, metallic version, shiny version. Hatchling. You don't have a hatchling for the Indoraptor, which is kind of a pity. And the last Indoraptor. Okay, I think we are done, guys. Okay, just give me a second. So I'm gonna show you guys like a, you know, like an overview. So, yeah, it's not as neat as I would like them to be, but I think it's still looking pretty good. So Indoraptor and Indominus Rex. I think Indominus Rex in terms of the minifigures, there are definitely more variations, that's for sure. I think we have majority of the Indominus Rex figures out there. I don't think we have missed out any, you know, major ones. Of course, there are some that we don't have in the collection. Uh, for the Indoraptor, of course, you know, you do have your plush figures and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, we, we do have the mask. We have two masks. This is this one is a pretty cool one. You can actually light up. Okay, check this out. It actually shows the um, Raptor right there. It projects a raptor. Yeah, and we do have another in, uh, indoor raptor mask over here, which is cool. Um, other Indominus Rex figures are some of our custom painted ones over here. We do have a custom painted indoor raptor over here as well. Other than that, I don't think we have missed out any more indoor raptors in our collection. So, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoy this, okay? So let me know down below, like, you know, do you guys like the Indoraptor more or the Indominus Rex? If you ask me, I'm definitely going with the Indominus Rex more. Yeah, I like the Indominus Rex more. And if both of them do engage in a battle, it's going to be very hard to say because the Indoraptor is supposed to be the smarter one. It's supposed to be the faster one, of course. It doesn't have the strength of the Indominus Rex, but of course, the Indoraptor is able to climb onto the body of the Indominus Rex and inflict some serious damage. So it's going to be a tough battle. But if you ask me, I'm going to go with Indominus Rex because I, I love the Indominus Rex. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Indoraptor versus the Indominus Rex. Who's going to win and who are you supporting? Supporting it doesn't mean it it will win okay so yeah let me know down below and do also let me know what other collections videos you guys want me to make i'll be happy to do it in the next video we're gonna be reviewing this which is the imagine next blue and owen figure which i think i'll be showing you guys my entire imagine next collection okay i think that'll be really cool and yeah once again don't forget to get your limited edition Tyrone, the Tyrannosaurus Rex nickname Chonky. Only 100 of them are made and they are running out really, really fast. Um, there's, a, there's a $10 off right now, so make sure you get it. And I've tried to reduce the shipping as much as possible. So this is basically to celebrate our 10 year anniversary. Part of the proceeds will go to a charity in Singapore, so do get yours. And if you guys want to 
have a personalized video, you can check out the link in our About Arts tab. There's a link for you to request for a personalized video for your birthday, you know, for your family members, okay? I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.